In this After Effects tutorial, I'll show you how to create this abstract blue and also how to turn plain shapes into exciting objects like this. Hey everyone, my name is Manuel and let's dive right in. First of all, we create the pipe. Choose the ellipse tool, double click on it to add the shape. Let's name it pipe. You adjust the size, set it to 600 by 600 pixels. No fill, we use a linear gradient as stroke. Set the width to 150 pixels. Then we choose two colors, a bright cyan and the right color, a bright purple. Then we adjust the start and end of the gradient by moving the two handles. Next, we add a trim parts animator to get rid of half of the pipe. We set the start value to 100%, the end to 50%, which gets us a half pipe. The rotation is still wrong though. Next, we select the ellipse path and convert it to a Bezier path. We need to do that to be able to use the create nulls from path script. We select the path, go to window and select it all the way down here and choose trace path, which creates a null object and a slider control. Let's delete the keyframes and the expression in the progress property. The progress property is controlled by a slider control, which is named trace path. We set a progress keyframe at the beginning, set it to 50%. Then we set it to 100% at one second. So the null object traces the path segment that is visible. Now let's create the sphere. With no layer selected, we choose the ellipse tool again and double click on it. We name it sphere. We set the size to 150 by 150 pixels. No stroke this time, we use a linear gradient as fill. Choose two colors a very bright pink, almost white, and magenta. Then we set both locations to 50%, which creates a sharp edge. We adjust the start and end point of the gradient to position the edge. Let's split the shape in half, roughly. Finally, we link the position of the sphere to the position of the null object. And we use the pipe as alpha track mat for the sphere. Make the layer visible again. So that the sphere is only visible inside the pipe. And then we rotate the pipe 90 degrees. Awesome. Now let's animate the movement of the sphere. We add a progress keyframe at 12 frames and set it to 75%. It's the highest point, the sphere has its lowest speed. We select the property and open the graph editor. Select the speed graph and slow down the middle part. We add easy ease first of all, then speed up the end and the start of the animation as much as possible. We slow down the middle part as much as possible. We deselect snap and move the middle part slightly up so that the speed is higher than zero. Let's check it out. Let's maybe slow down the start a tiny bit. Awesome. The next thing we do is to animate the rotation of the sphere. We open the property Press R, set a keyframe at the beginning, zero degrees. At 12 frames, we set it to 600 degrees. At 24 frames, we set it to 1200 degrees. Again, we slow down the middle part. We add easy ease to all keyframes. 
which brings them down to the baseline. We speed up the start and end as much as possible. Slow down the middle part. Let's deactivate snap, then slightly move it up again. Seems like the rotation is a bit too fast in the middle. Let's move it down again. This feels good. Creating smooth and organic animations is one of the most important skills to have as a motion designer. Learn to use the tools After Effects provides to adjust the time and the path your shapes take. Learn different techniques and principles to give your objects the illusion of gravity, weight, mass and flexibility. Simply adding easy ease to your keyframes is not enough. For this mini course, I went through my 20 years of experience to filter out the most valuable tips, tricks and techniques for you. Knowledge that instantly improves your work. Smooth Animator is your kickstart to smooth and organic animations. The link is in the description. Time to work on the style some more. The background is a solid to which I've added a 4 color gradient. Let's add some depth to the pipe. We right click on the layer to add a layer style. Inner shadow. We set the shadow color to blue. Angle 120 degrees, size around 100, noise around 25. We add one more layer style. We right click on the layer again, layer styles, bevel and emboss. Let's adjust some settings. We set the direction to down, size 60, Soften 16, the max value. Angle 170 degrees. Altitude 50. Let's change the highlight color, a bright pink. The shadow color, a dark blue. A color that refers to the background works better than just black. Next, let's add some detail to the sphere. We add a layer style again. Right click on the layer, add inner shadow. The color, blue again. Distance, 35. Size, 40. <laughs> Let's move it to get a better view. Then we add bevel and emboss again. Direction up this time. Size 40, soften 16. Angle 120 degrees, altitude around 75 degrees. We set the shadow color to purple, which refers to the background color world. Bevel and emboss created a reflection on the sphere, which is a nice detail. Finally, to wrap this first part up, we move the endpoints of all layers to one second. The second scene, with no layer selected, we double click on the ellipse tool again to create a sphere. Let's name it Sphere Big. The cut works like a match cut. In the second scene, we see the second half of the movement. We use a solid field color this time, magenta. The size, 400 by 400 pixels. Let's quickly animate it. We move it to the top of the screen at one second. Add a position keyframe. We move the sphere to the center at one second and 12 frames. At two seconds, we copy and paste the first keyframe. We select the property and open the graph editor. We add easy ease to all keyframes. And first of all, we speed up the start and end.
Then we slot on the middle part again. Let's see. Now we need to watch both parts and see if the speeds of the two parts match. Feels good for me. Let's maybe move the sphere slightly up though, at the start and end. Awesome. Let's add the rectangle, which actually is a line. We use the pen tool to add a vertical line from top to the bottom of the screen. Hold shift to make sure it's a straight line. Then we position the line right in the center. Use the action in title save as guide. Let's name the shape line. We set the start point to one second and instead of a fill, we use a linear gradient of stroke. Let's increase the stroke width to 400 pixels. The colors, a bright cyan and a bright purple again. Adjust the start and end of the stroke. Move the two handles. Let's animate the shape, which is pretty easy. We use the create nulls from path script again. We select the path of the line and choose Points Follow Nulls, which creates two null objects, one for each point. We want this null to follow the bottom point of the sphere. We don't need this bottom one, delete it. If we link the null to the sphere position now, it is attached to the center. So we need to move the anchor point of the sphere to the bottom edge. We choose the anchor point tool. Hold command for max, control if you use a PC to let it snap. You need to be on a keyframe. Let's check it. In the middle, the shape moved up, like at the end. So you either remove the anchor point at each position keyframe or let's copy and paste the first keyframe to the end. Let's take a look. It is pretty easy to change the animation now as both shapes are linked together. Let's move it down in the middle again. Let's work on the style of the sphere. We add a layer style again. We right click on the layer and choose inner glow. We set the size to around 50. Noise. 20%, the color white. This creates a glowing edge. Let's work on the rectangle and add a layer style. We right click on the layer, layer styles and add bevel and emboss. Direction, up, size around 125. Soften, 16. We change the highlight color, a bright pink or rose. The shadow color, purple. We add one more layer style. Satin. Color, blue. Distance around 90. Size 125. Angle, let's say 40 degrees. And this creates a nice texture on top of the gradient. More about smooth animations in my course Smooth Animator. The link to the course is in the description. On the left side, I've added a video you might like. Thanks for watching this one. See you in the next one. Bye everyone.